Hi, my name is Jess Meldrum from Keymetrics and welcome to today's episode of Two Minute Tuesdays. In today's episode, we're going to explore virtual versions. This is the third episode of a three-part mini-series focusing on forecasting best practices for reporting. If you haven't watched parts one or two, I suggest going back and watching these prior to continuing. What we have created so far is a March and an April forecast version. Each time we create a new forecast version, which is likely to be monthly, we need to update all of the report references to pick up the new version. Instead of having to do this, let's create a virtual version. From the modeling and version page, I'm gonna select create a new virtual version. We're gonna call this version current forecast. Now I'm gonna scroll down to the base version and change the version to the April forecast that we created in the previous lesson. Now I'm gonna select save. Now from a reporting perspective, I can replace my April forecast with current forecast. Now each time we create a forecast version, we can update the base version to pick up the latest forecast. This removes the need to update each individual report and means that only one change is required. That's providing that all reports are currently referencing the current forecast. That's it for today's episode. As always, if you'd like to know more details or get further assistance, please reach out. Thanks and bye for now.